Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another edition of what is in our stand today. Today is going to be a really short video because I'm, I'm basically drowning in bike repair, but I wanted to talk about something that I, in, I've seen on two bikes just today. So I thought, okay, well, let's share this with my viewers because um, they may experience this problem at some point. So what I'm talking about is I'm noticing that um, if you look closely right here, um, this, this is a Shimano Durace brake, disc brake caliper. And this one's pretty good because, or to illustrate my point, this one's pretty good because you could see the dirt all around. This is all brake dust and who knows what else. And you can see a little bit of a white band here. And then you can see all the dirty part there. And what's been happening, as I mentioned, I've got two bikes that I am uh, troubleshooting. And what, what's been happening is one of the pistons is stuck. And so the customer comes in and, and the, the one of the pistons is stuck and it's rubbing against the cat. Um, the brake pad is run, rubbing against the rotor. And I want to show you the front quickly. And if you look here, that's what it's supposed to look like. Nice and clean. So one of the things that I do when I replace brake pads is I clean these pistons. So they're extended a little bit more than they were with the pads installed. So, you know, I squeeze the brake caliper, I'm sorry, the brake lever so that the two pistons will extend. And then I go in here and I clean these. I usually clean it with, you know, some Dawn uh, dishwashing liquid, very mild solution. And then I go back with Q-tips and just, you know, real basic stuff, Q-tips and some alcohol and make sure everything's nice and clean. And then I may also uh, lube the pistons a little bit and then push them back in and then install the pads. And then typically that fixes these stuck pistons. And uh, as I mentioned, just two bikes today, this is what I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with. So, um, and then the other thing I wanted to talk about briefly as I mentioned, I've just got way too much to do right now, but um, so these brake pads here, this is the L03A, and these are Shimano brake pads, pardon the dirty hands, but I am a mechanic. And these pads are in very, very, very short supply. I mean, Shimano doesn't even have dates. Today is June the 8th of 2021, and they don't even have dates as to when I'm going to receive more pads. So this is a Shimano higher end pad with these fins, which allow the brake pads to uh, cool off a little bit, the backing plate to cool off a little bit, kind of like, like the radiator fins on your car. So what have I had to do? Well, I've been providing to my customers the Swiss Stop brake pads. They also, oopsie, they also have the fins. And so they're called the Exotherm because they have the fins. And I consider these an upgrade. So, you know, Shimano makes stuff for the masses, whereas Swiss Stop is specifically I mean, this is all they do. Brake pads for disc and brake pads for rim brake. They also make rotors, but my point is that's all they do. And so they're more of a boutique brand and they, in my opinion, are an upgrade. And so when you look on the back here, they have a rating system. And, you know, 10 out of 10 for heat tolerance, 9 and 9. So longevity and modulation. So 
these here are, I mean, top, top marks, right? So, and it also gives you a little bit of a chart here that says that it's the stopping distance from 60 kilometers with a 100 kilogram rider. So, or system, I guess you would say. So 100 kilograms, you figure if the average person, you know, is about, I don't know, 70 to 80 kilograms. So if you don't know kilograms, that's 2.2 pounds. So let's say 150 to 180. <clears throat> and then your bike's another 15 to 20 pounds, just depending on what you're riding. <laughs> Obviously, a disc brake bike's heavier. But this is the other one that I sell. And this is the same brake pad size, okay? So it's the same size, it just, it doesn't have the cooling fins. And based on their rating system, I apologize that I dropped that twice, but. So you can see the heat tolerance is marked markedly less tolerance, longevity, and modulation. So obviously this is the higher end pad. It's got the fins. It will allow for you to do not only a direct replacement, di replacement for the L03A from Shimano, but also in my opinion, I consider it an upgrade. And then you can see the differences, 10 meters for that same 60 kilometer per hour speed down to zero and 100 kilogram for rider weight and bike. So, you know, about 220 pounds for that. Okay, so quick video. And I just wanted to talk about brake pads because the Shimano brake pads are out of stock and they'll be out of stock for a long time. So if you're searching the web, and you can't find them yeah they're not they're not they're just not available so we keep these in stock you're welcome to purchase from our store obviously that's one way to support either myself the channel or the store but um in my opinion they they are an upgrade from the shimano pads and then just a quick um a quick review if you're changing your brake pads, clean those pistons up because sometimes they get stuck, you get brake rub, and it's an annoying little noise, obviously, but uh, that's one way to make sure that your pistons extend and retract properly under braking power or when you're not supposed to be braking. Um, that's all for today. Please like and subscribe. We are really close to 350, I think 345, 346 subscribers right now, but I'd like to get to, you know, good milestone is 500 and then eventually 1,000. I wanna spend a lot more time uh, providing content for you and teaching you just little tips and tricks along the way. All right, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you up the road.